And I am always fascinated when the bottom half of the internet gets stirred up like that. <laughs> I've been to the bottom of the internet to find real comments from real people on this very topic. I've turned those comments into something that I like to call a found poem, which I would like to perform for you now. Mylene is, as always, 100% correct about this situation. Whomsoever wrote that letter should be made to issue a public apology. <laughs> if you ask me, she has just taken an innocent suggestion and twisted it spitefully to get some more media points. It's like that white bikini all over again. <laughs> Mylene class. Mylene no class more like. <laughs> By which I mean she has no class. <laughs> This story is obviously made up. No real child would ask for a desk. <laughs> My kids are 44 and 47, so this doesn't apply to me. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> they say that if you don't ask, you don't get. But it doesn't follow that if you do ask, you do get. I guess the facts are that if you ask, you sometimes get which is really the point of the saying. <laughs> but it looks like the girls in question won't be getting from Mylene Glass. <laughs> for them, it has become a case of, if you do ask, you don't get what you asked for, but you do get humiliated by Mylene Glass. <laughs> if my child asked for a desk, I would be concerned about what they were getting up to behind my back. <laughs> It's the ones who are all goody two-shoes to your face that end up doing drugs with soap stars and the like. <laughs> In the words of the song, Come on, Mylene. <laughs> Too ra to lu -rye. <laughs> I would never buy a child a desk as a present. It's like buying the wife a washing machine. Or perhaps a washer-dryer. Mylene made her name in the band Hearsay. Well, I've got some hearsay for you. Bog off, Mylene. <laughs> that isn't hearsay. That isn't what hearsay means. But yes. Bog off, Mylene. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. I thank you.